and get to broadcast, right? So, oh, hey, Fala Days is what we're saying today on our t-shirt and grateful for opportunity um, to get to broadcast and share my heart on Monday. Thank you so much. On Monday, we get to talk about, hey, Diane, so good to see you over on Facebook. Hey, Teresa, so good to see you, sweet sister. On Mondays, we talk about whatever the Lord puts on my heart. This is actually what I believe the Lord started doing before I started broadcasting, is just putting things on my heart. Hey, Tessie, thank you for the bomb award. You were so sweet. Um, He would put stuff on my heart, and I just wanted to share so that I could encourage others. So welcome to Monday. Hey, Kat, so good to see you. Thank you for joining us from YouTube. You're holding YouTube down for us as far as live viewers. Then we have a couple of people who always come in on the replay. So thank you, sister. Tessie, good morning. And thank you for all the fun bursts. Welcome, welcome. So if you guys are noticing, things are different. Cheryl, you made it. Praise the Lord. Let's be curious about where the Lord is going to take us this morning, the rest of today, the rest of this week, the rest of November. So how are y'all doing? What do you have in your mug? You guys know I always start off with this particular green tea. It's a combination. It's a powerhouse. Super grateful. It was given to me by Steph. And so, oh, I love that smell, but it is a weird smell. It's not normal. It's a, a roasted brown rice and green tea and it is really nice and hot y'all i'm cold in my house today it's 69 degrees in here hello it's supposed to be i think like 70 something today here early sign in didn't work i had to sign in again yeah it is so weird right now so i apologize for those of you um if i had had a vote change anything but hey i wouldn't you know i'm not a big fan of change coffee two cups is now your limit than water well good goal good goal so you could try to start switching over to green tea kathleen um because you can definitely have more than one and of course you can get non-caffeinated green tea which seems so weird to me okay let me take a quick sip 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 i'm just sitting here holding this it's cold there yeah high at 37 i know i hate to complain Kathleen, because it's supposed to be like 70, I think, today, 70, 76 or something. I don't feel like that in my house. Now, outside, <laughs> if I had A-L-E-X-A in my office, I would be able to ask her, hmm, Tessie, thank you. I always freshen them up on Sunday nights during my family Zoom. So this is Thanksgiving. And if I push it closer, you'll see the pumpkin on this one. This is a turkey on the middle finger. It's also the same one that's on the thumb and then we've got leaves and then of course polka dots which are my favorite love me a good polka dot mm, polka dot and stripes i would probably wear them all the time if i could i mean i guess i can i can because i'm an adult and i can make those decisions thank you so much tessie so welcome welcome one of the things that we still love to do right angela so good to see you sweet sister holding down the facebook fort over there with rena and diane oh you're having irish breakfast tea rena the only people who like change are babies <laughs> change well rena you're on a roll today i love that i love that you are too cute oh and i have really good news guess who has their theme song back oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> follow about my theme song she's like girl it has always been right here. oh I, i'm just gonna say this one time technology hates me good morning allison so good to see you okay so we're gonna do shout outs to our sponsors i'm assuming we still have sponsors <laughs> there's been a lot of change so we're just gonna keep giving them credit gotta have that theme song i know it's coming up girl it's coming up so we want to thank louise and melanie and tessie who is here with us live for being um <clears throat> sponsors oh rena you are so sweet, but it is true. I mean, there's almost nothing truer I can say today. I will say one or two truer things on this broadcast. Teresa, we are grateful for you and you are here live or you were a couple minutes ago. Going to move over to HAPS when I get together with our friend Jana. Well, yay, Angela, I can also help you because I will see you before you see her unless you're going to see her before next Saturday, right? 
Okay, so um, also Set Free Recovery Ministries, that's Coach and Holly and their team, Tasha, Justin, Marcy, Hannah, and Edward and Lynn. Super, super grateful for all of our sponsors. Our charter members would be Coach Dale and Cheryl and Steph and Allison. Oh my, right, Marguerite, our resident Marine, female Marine, Pastor Rick, who continues to help us transition in the changes of social media, right, Diane? Diane switched over to HAPS. Thank you so much for doing that, sis. I don't know if it counts you twice, but just glad to have you over here as well. Um, and then who else? Oh, like uh, Stacy and Greg and Pastor Tommy and Heidi, Chris Rossetti, right? Minister Pam, so grateful for all y'all. And then the three plus year club podcast. Apology. Why do I feel like I have to be sing-songy? I don't know. Kathleen, two cups of coffee. Kathleen, Cheryl, Diane, who is here with us live. Also, Sage, Carol, and our favorite dessert, Liz, Cammy, Cammy, Ken, Shelly. We are so grateful to all y'all, all y'all. So here we go. I'm Larissa, Grateful Chick, Chief Inspirational Officer here at the Grateful Tribe. It is my great pleasure to get to broadcast three times a week at minimum, right? Thursday morning, 9.15 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, so that's Monday and Thursday. Just say Monday and Thursday. Monday and Thursday, 9.15 a.m. Central Standard Time, just in case you didn't hear it the first time. And Wednesday nights, two Wednesday nights a month with my co-host, Tasha, who is also making um, the change here with all of the changes with HAPS and trying to figure things out. And that is Wednesday nights, twice a month at 6.50 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to continue our discussion of, um, excuse me, of uh, gratitude. Um, and I just realized I don't know where my mute, oh, there's my mute button. Hold, please. Let's see if it'll let me mute. Hmm. I'm a little afraid to touch anything. Okay. We're not going to touch anything. So I apologize if I end up having to sneeze. Hello allergies. Um, okay. Anyways, I digress. So I believe the Lord has called me to be a light on social media. Now we are all called to be a light, right? When we say yes to Jesus, we have Jesus in us, right? When we commit to following Jesus, we have Jesus in us along with Holy Spirit, right? And God gives us his word, right? So we have all of those things and so much more like the mind of Christ and all of God's promises. So where we go, right? Atmospheres change because Jesus and Holy Spirit in us and because we know that we have authority, right? We have the truth as our sword. And we know because of all the I am statements in the Bible, right? We know who we are, right? And we are in Christ. Hey, Sarah, so good to see you. Oh, good. Good point, Angela. Good point. Okay. If we, I, I would love to help you to get you up and running sooner, but I get it. I get it. Still here but on YouTube. <laughs> Therese, I love it, says. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, squirrel, but that was too cool watching the big pink hearts photo. I know. Oh my gosh. Across your 65 inch TV, no doubt. And we have Darren over there on the Facebook's Haps app on iPad is struggling. Oh, crash and got booted out twice. Okay, well, thank you for trying and coming on um, the Facebooks. This is why we try to follow each other, right, on more than one social media app, which I haven't said that in a while. So, Darren, thanks for triggering that thought that we need to make sure that we are on other social media platforms. So, I am still on Twitter. I am, of course, on Instagram. I also go live on Instagram right now because of Project Great. Oh, we are so blessed to have this amazing year long project to work through together. And I was sharing with someone the other day, you know, that I am just learning as I go on the job training. Hey, Amber, good morning. And it is the first time that I have led such a large group right? And a lot of them, most of them are online and probably most have not met based on numbers, right? Through a year long project, gratitude project, right? So super grateful for that opportunity. So glad that y'all are here, right? And it is my great pleasure to not only get to broadcast, but I also do workshops. I've actually done Zooms. So I am a speaker, a workshop 
coordinator, leader, right? I am also an author, right? I authored the 12 devotions in this project, Grateful, the four from last year, right? I've also co-authored some publications as well and super grateful to get to collaborate with Kelly Bangs of Kelly Bangs Creative who's going to be in town this week super excited about that I'm gonna see if I can get her on a broadcast um, at some point maybe not here on HAPS right Oh, Sarah, grateful for you, sweet sister. Sarah and I got a glimpse of each other, like literally like maybe five seconds at church yesterday for the first time in what feels like forever. And it looks like I might get a glimpse of her Wednesday morning, a longer glimpse of her Wednesday morning, but grateful to also collaborate with Illustrated Faith for this wonderful project. And we'll talk about that in just a couple minutes. It is also my great pleasure. Okay, I'm going to show a different photo, even though, well, let me show you two. Well, I'm going to technically show you three. It's also my great pleasure to wrangle this guy. So Samson, the six-year-old bulldog, hello, is the mascot of the Grateful Tribe. He holds down things, keeps things coordinated and organized here at the Grateful Tribe headquarters in the great state of Texas. So we are super grateful for him and how the Lord uses him to refine his mother. And boy, is he in a refining mode right now. I'm going to take a quick sip break. Everybody hang in there. Where's Paula G? Where's Paula G? Girlfriend is super busy getting all the things done. I got to see her yesterday for a couple hours. So, so fun. Good morning, Cindy Myers. So good to see you, sweet sister. So it's not showing me where you're coming in at. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? It only does it when you first pop in, right? Oh, yes. Rena is reminding me. You know, Rena, I need to write out my resume. Rena is reminding me that I also was a blogger and I still blog, just not consistently. I was a blogger um, for a, a an amazing community called Okinawa High. And I went to my job. <laughs> it was a tough one. I know you guys didn't know me back then, but you would feel sorry for me. Um, I went to and wrote about restaurants. So Bill and I would go to a new place every week and we would, um, you know, eat and take notes and take notes and I could write about that. So super, super fun. And I laugh and kind of chuckle, but we had somebody that made a comment sometime in all of our writing career as part of the Okinawa High team that said, you know, anybody can do what you guys do. You just go someplace and throw words up on a page. And I'm like, you know, yeah, that it's not as easy as you think it is. And we don't all get invited to do that. And so I didn't take it for granted. It was a beautiful um, starting point to me getting to write more consistently. <laughs> oh, Allison, several people are having trouble logging in and out. Um, um, I am so sorry, you guys, that I think, hmm, well, it's working great on the computer. So that part is really, really good. It's on the phone told me my number is banned. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I am so sorry. And um, good to see you, Shelly. Father, Lord, we're just going to take a moment here because I feel like I'm distracted and Cheryl and several people are struggling to get in and Shelly is surrounded by water. Father, Lord, we are grateful that you were the God of the universe. You are the God who sees. We are chosen. We are your child. We are your children. And you have given us the mind of Christ and the authority here on earth. And so we are wielding that authority and praying against flooding, against distractions, against frustration, against um, uh, mindless thoughts, negative thoughts, stress, financial issue issues. Father Lord, we know that you are the God who provides and you provide in so many different ways. And so Father, we are grateful. We are a grateful people. And so Father, we know that the victory is ours. I am victorious. You who know Jesus are, excuse me, victorious. And so we pray in that victorious name, in the name of above all names, in the name worthy of our praise, in the only name that heals and makes us whole and fixes all the things, not because we believe that Jesus is a genie, that's not how it works, but because we know our Father in heaven loves us and protects us and guides us 
gives us a sure footed place to stand and he is good. This moment may not look or feel good, but God is good in every moment. Lord, we love you. We praise you. And we say these things in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Amen. 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 So Allison, if Cheryl is locked out, she can't hear me, I'm assuming. So um, please let her know that we th we're thinking about her and praying and anybody else who's struggling, which of course I'm talking to and you probably can't hear me. But anyways, so back to my um, intro, super grateful also to be a Marine spouse along with Rena, right? Thank you, Rena, for that. And um, many other Marine spouses, right? And military spouses in general. But of course, I'm partial to the Marines because I have the pleasure of being married to this Marine for almost 20 seven years. He went home to be with Jesus almost two weeks before our 27th wedding anniversary. Thank you for the moms. So grateful for you, Allison. But I wanted to show you guys another picture. Yes, he made me a Marine spouse and that gives me the pleasure of getting to um, be on an amazing team, an amazing ministry team called Planting Roots. And so if you are active duty, a retiree, right? If you're a mom to a soldier, a sailor, an airman, a merchant marine, right? Um, we want to love up on you. Go to YouTube if you're having trouble. It's working. Yay. Okay, YouTube. Will somebody type that over there on Facebook as well? Um, so thank the Lord for other platforms and for y'all helping me out. So, so grateful for that. So I'm super grateful for planting roots. Plantingroots.net is where you can go. Oh, okay, Cheryl, you can hear me on Facebook. <laughs> I wondered, I wonder how that was working, but anyways, just grateful that you're here, sis. And sorry about all of the, the stress. Um, but super grateful to be a Marine spouse, but I, I just couldn't resist showing you guys this photo. It's been a while. It's back when I had my hair even shorter, right? I had it long on the sides, but I had bangs and um, a lot less right here. And then that's my handsome Marine in civvies. This was Thanksgiving. One of my absolute most favorite photos of Bill and I, and this was Thanksgiving. Mm, you guys. Okay. So I bring him up because I'm blessed to be with planting roots. And also because we're going to talk about how we make an impact, right? How we make an impact. I'm going to bring my husband up. Thank you, Diane. So, so blessed, right? So, so he always made me look really good too. He, anybody who has um, a little bit of color in their skin, even if it's, I realize like he's white, um, but he has, um, thank you, Cheryl. Um, he had a lot of uh, like, I'll call it brown undertones, warm undertones, anyways. But people like that um, always make me look great in photos. It kind of offsets all of the ruddy redness in my skin. So he always made me look good. God just got his sweet down to the, the details. We always looked really cute together. That was our last Christmas together. So, um, or second to last, last, last Christmas, that was 2019. So anyways, I bring him up. <laughs> you were blonde. I know, right? I bring him up because of planting roots, because I'm blessed and because we're going to talk about making an impact today, making an impact. Well, making an impact every day, but we're going to talk about it today. So are you guys ready? Kathleen, you already finished your second mug of happiness. Are you guys ready for our theme song? Hopefully we don't break haps and we don't get kicked out and all the things. It's my theme song. It was given to me. It was written by our good friend, Marcus South Jersey. So just let me know you're ready. Ready, 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 Freddie? Five, four, three, two, one, ready? You know, this, um, hello, what are we gonna do? I do not, I do not, oh, I keep forgetting to do this. Replay viewers. Do not forget, we love the snot out of you. And we are so grateful for you on the replay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why have I not done that in a while? Okay, here we go. Are you guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one, for the second time. Ah, take your earbuds out. Oh, you know what? Hold, please. I don't think. Hold on. Directed to GRH Dolchik. There we go. <laughs> you gotta love it. All right. Now, five, four, three, two, one. A little false start there, but that is okay. We are back on track, you guys. We are back on track. Just grateful I get to broadcast here. We didn't have to completely pivot. We've had to pivot, but not like a complete 360. Is that what that'd be called, Darren? 
Okay, here we go. When you wake up, grab your coffee and phone, tune in to Larissa and Mandel. The Grateful Chick Tribe is always by your side. We're here for you. Helpful tips and grab your hand. Larissa is on to go tell a friend. Share out where you can, you guys. Thank you, Diane. Why do we smile? Because Diane's here. Because Allison is watching us on the big TV and giving us awards. Because Therese is here. And she's such a sweet supporter. Because Shelly is joining us despite the chaos going on in her life. We are blessed because Cindy Myers is here. Because God is good. Because it's amazing Monday. Because my niece is here. Right? Yeah, so because we have our theme song back. We are so blessed. And we have a great big finish and there is steph steph so good to see you um so shanna um just wanted to say hi and love you getting ready to start work amen 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 hope you have a great day i know i have missed the theme song too y'all i lost it somehow okay samson samson has decided to move over to his bed now instead of being right underfoot <laughs> thank you sammy sam Sorry, I'm really distracted over here, you guys. I'm trying to, I got lots of stuff on my desk. All right, why do we play the theme song, Sarah? We play it because God is good. And it reminds us until further notice to celebrate everything. Y'all, no matter what, we have so much to be celebrating. It is just like, what is it? 10 days, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 days. Until Thanksgiving, this just says, oh, hey, fall a days, right? I'm starting to get out my Thanksgiving t-shirts because I only have like five of them. I'll be right back. Okay, well, keep us posted, sweet sister. Um, and we are here. I'm on HAPS. I get to broadcast. There was, you know, rumor going around that you can't broadcast, you can't go live unless you have 10,000 followers. Well, that is still true if you are new, I guess, to the app or program. But those of us who've been here for a little while are getting grandfather claused in. So super grateful um, for that. Though 10,000 is a lot. I mean, I lost, I know, I know, holidays, right? I lost over half of, almost half of my viewers. 40%, 45% once they officially shut um, Periscope down, or I guess HAPS maybe cut that link off. I, I can't, I, I don't understand all of that stuff. So now we're below 7,000. So our goal, I, I guess I need to figure out the goals, right? So we were super, super blessed to go over 200 um, subscribers on YouTube, all right? We're going into celebratory mode because of Chris Rossetti. We went over 2,000 thousand um uh followers on instagram because of our project grateful right super grateful for everyone who um made this happen because we know it wasn't just me it actually wasn't just kelly um and it wasn't just illustrated faith there's also you know somebody who did all the printing and cutting and packaging and um, then everybody who sent all the advertising and showing up and purchasing it so it is a group effort for sure and super grateful for that but um so i guess our next goals would be you know 300 on youtube <laughs> our huge goal would be 10,000 here on the apps app to kind of get our numbers back up and and i bring this up because lots of you ask how you can help and what all of this means so we are not going for numbers to be impressive right? Because I had numbers that looked impressive here and I knew they were not real, right? Because most of those people on Periscope, other than those of you who were also counted in that number, they weren't either they, I mean, they're real people, but they weren't really following or engaging. And definitely the majority of them weren't really, you know, participating. You're Allison banned from HAPS. Did you see that? She is listening on YouTube, but can't comment. Well, this is really weird. What is going on? So will you guys report that? Because I, I don't I don't hold as much weight. What is going on? Lord, we pray against whatever is going on with these other apps. This is craziness. Hey, so good to see you, Edward or Lynn or Edward and Lynn. I'm here too. <laughs> She's on Facebook as well. So Edward, we are still continuing to give you a shout out for being a wonderful sponsor. We can't thank you enough. And we're figuring out the new update. My people are getting banned on all the other social medias. One friend can't even get into the HAPS app. She's banned. So this is craziness. This is totally, totally crazy. 
Anyways, we're going to keep moving forward, though. I'm really sorry, you guys, but please send messages to um, the HAPS people and let them know, right? Because it's got to be a glitch. It is certainly not because because you guys are super supportive and positive and you have not said anything um, inappropriate. So anyways, um, but we love to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, sobriety dates, celebrate milestones, right? Remember on Periscope, we would celebrate when we got to the next um, heart milestone, right? So we were blessed millions and millions and millions of hearts because of all y'all, right? So it is a group effort. And so I give you guys numbers because numbers help us measure, right? It isn't, it isn't how the Lord measures things except for he wants not one to perish, right? So that is a number he probably focuses on, right? Yes. With God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. So I just like to tell you, cause we are in this together. This is a, we thing. I like to share with you guys where we are at. So when you share things out, when you make a comment and say, Hey, go over and watch my friend Larissa on YouTube, because today's message is amazing or on gratitude, or on how to make an impact. And there is Cammy Cam. Cammy Cam is in the house, or Cammy Can, um, or just Cammy, or Cammy Chipped in Time, or Miss Cammy Wonderfulness. <laughs> so anyways, that's why I share that, because I know that we are in this together, and you guys can't know all those numbers typically, or you'd be searching all over the place. So we are celebrating. Did you get new puppy, a new puppy or new puppies like my neighbor um, did recently? Um, what else? Did you just get baptized, right? Did you get a promotion? Did you get a negative test result when negative is good, right? Um, what else? We have a friend in the crafty community. I, I don't know if she's going to be a grandma for the first time, Susan, right, Cami, but they're having twins. So either her first grandchildren are twins or her daughter, it's her daughter and son-in-law, right? Are having twins. So I don't know where they are in the lineup, but we just love to celebrate all the things, right? I know another thing, we talk a lot about God in the details. And one way I see God in the details is these divine moments. When you're in a moment or you're speaking with someone and you realize, wow, only the Lord. Um, thank you, Cheryl. Um, oh, too many logins. That's why you guys are getting banned. Too many logins, but they're making you log in. Oh my gosh, the definition of insanity. Welcome to Amazing Monday and Haps' update. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. Um, but I had one of those divine moments yesterday. So that is God in the details as I'm at church thinking, wow, I'm physically at church, not taking that for granted. Uh, my friend uh, Emily um, met me there so I didn't have to walk in or out alone. Celebrating getting the help I need. A car fixing going on today, Sarah. Praise the Lord. Sarah, thank you for sharing that. Y'all, Sarah has had a very rough, it's been actually a rough couple of years. Hey, can I join on HAPS? Meaning, can you come into HAPS? Absolutely, you can come into HAPS. It's kind of wonky over there, brother. So if you're struggling to actually get in, um, so are several other people. And they're also getting banned because they've checked in too many times or whatever we call that, logged in too many times. So Sarah, thanks for celebrating um, or giving us something to celebrate. She's had a really rough time. And one of the things is getting her car fixed because she's not living um, for, oh, did you mean to come in on the broadcast? If that's what you meant, is that what you meant? <clears throat> Gosh, I haven't done, I haven't done guests in a while and I need to do a test on that because I don't even know how to do that. I've not done that yet, Juan, but thanks for asking. Very sweet. Very sweet. Um, so let me finish this thought. So anyways, so she drove here. It's a, like a 40 minute drive, 45 minute drive, depending on where in the San Antonio area she is living. And she made it all the way and all the way back. You guys, she wasn't sure she was going to make it. And yet she tried anyways, because she wanted to go to church right? Yep. Yeah, getting back up from rock bottom. Amen. Amen. So you guys, when you think of Sarah, will you just pray for her? I will make sure Sarah that we get a photo on Wednesday morning. She's going to come to Bible study and hang out with us and do project. Oh, so we are super excited. Okay. So Teresa saying, this is what we're celebrating because of Teresa's life. My new grandbaby that was seven weeks early is so great. I think he'll come home this week. It was all God's work. Amen. 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 You needed you some church. Amen. Right. Amen. So there just was a lot going on yesterday that I realized, wow, 
God in the details, right? And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a few minutes. But anybody else before I move on? Lexi is in the house. Um, this too will pass, right, Darren? Amen, amen. One time when my impatience paid off, once Haps booted me, the second time I gave up and went to Facebook. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Welcome to the craziness. You got to love it, right? This is why we really don't like change. However, I know that Allison loves the view on half. She feels like it looks a lot like the back in the Periscope days. And I do like, I like some of the features for sure. I like some of the features absolutely for sure. So grateful for quality time with LEB this past week and lots of fun adventures. Yes. And you shared those fun adventures with us. Let's celebrate business success. We will be having a career event in Newport Beach. Yay! Reach out for more information. So if anybody is in the, the Southern California area and can get to Newport Beach, or if you're in Newport Beach, we love Newport Beach, um, California over December 12th, 13th, and 14th, reach out to Edward um, of Edward and Lynn. Um, I'd love to see that you guys connected. That would be super, super, for, uh, for, uh, super, super, Fun. I will shout you out. Oh, well, Edward, how sweet of you to shout me out at your summit. Um, will somebody take a screenshot and text that to me and I will make sure I at least be praying for y'all. Sorry, not great English, but that's why I'm here instead of haps. <laughs> Cammy. Oh, Cammy Cam. I am so sorry. Okay. Anyways, we're going to move on because I have no control. And Darren is saying it's congrats on that grandbaby, Teresa, because Darren isn't over here. So grateful today, Amber is saying, for the weekend that I had with my discipleship sisters crafting and laughing and eating. Amber, I love it. And Amber, what is your, um, sorry, distraction, um, Allison, it's the um, swans, swans truck. Um, Amber, what is your um, handle on Instagram? Because that sounds very, I, I'm, I'm commenting on your stuff, but I, I could look it up and know that it's you, but I can't remember. Does your handle have coffee in it? Gotta love a good Instagram handle, but I remember someone posting how grateful they were for lots of crafting and laughing and eating, right? The lawn guys, Schwan, Schwan, the food people, Schwan guys, where you order and they bring it and it's like a freezer yellow truck. <laughs> Baby girl, Junie. Okay, well, I am not, do, are, you, are you following me over there? I don't recognize that handle, but if you tag me on any of your Project Grateful stuff or anything positive, um, then, um, I will see it and then I'll be able to say hi. <laughs> okay. All right. So anybody else? Five, four, three, two, one. Today is day 15 of the 365 days of Project Grateful. Here is the fun fact. Okay. Perfect. Um, here's the fun fact. This is the second week I get to teach on gratitude at our church. So be praying for me tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. Um, oh, Oh, well, how fun is that? Will someone take a screenshot of that as well? Okay, I'm not seeing screenshots coming in. I need some help, people. I need some help. Please, 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 please. I need some help. Day 15. I know. Isn't this fun? Oh, hey, holidays. Um, so I get to do that Tuesday night and Wednesday morning, and I'm going to bring something. I know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I thought of this, and the Lord's going to help me remember. And Anyway, so you, I will do I will do some stories from there. Um, so how is everyone doing on Project Grateful? Just really quick, how are you guys doing? I have, of course, I have written every single day because that's what I do, right? Um, but I am technically, no, I'm technically not a day behind because I have today, right? I had wanted to over the weekend get seven days ahead with decorating. Didn't quite get there. Didn't quite get there, but I had the blessing of doing some other C, other C's, other things yesterday. I don't see it or I D I screenshot. Okay, you can't see it because you're coming in from someplace else. Okay, so Edward, okay, I'll try to go back and remember. I just, I have someone coming over right after this, so I'm afraid I'm going to forget. Cynthia Hall is here watching on Facebook. You know, I'm really impressed with y'all. I mean, I've always been really impressed, but I'm feeling like, Y'all are finding another way. If you cannot get here on halves, I feel like our Facebook numbers are higher. More people are over there and more people are on YouTube. Y'all, I should not be shocked. I should not even be surprised. I should be like, yeah, hello, it's Grateful Tribe. But I just want you guys to know that I know. 
Okay, so do you guys have any questions? If you have questions about Project Grateful and you're here locally, show up tomorrow night or Wednesday morning. Or you guys know this will be my last week streaming for November on Illustrated Faith's Instagram. And y'all, I mean, what a blessing. I, some of you don't know what a big deal that is, but what a blessing for sure to be able to broadcast over there. So Thursday morning after my broadcast at 1045 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we will finish up the month of November, and then we will start in December once a month. And yes, we are celebrating with Chipped In Time, who is Cami, and Amy, who's Mommy Mudlin. They just um, launched a t-shirt and a mug. Y'all, if you like gnomes, hello. Know me, know me. Go over and check them out. Find Chipped in Time. It'll probably be easier because you can see her, um, her whatever we call that. Oh, using your phone to record. Her journal should be, this is Cheryl talking on Facebook. Um, her journal should arrive tomorrow. So way to go. Lots of people are using their phones right now until their journals come. So next year, <laughs> we will be ready even more, more sooner. I love my English today. Huge deal. I know. Thank you for favor. Amen. Amen. And I love hearing that chipped in time. Cammy is loving project. Grateful. Hey, you guys have a cute scentsy warmer. That's a gnome. What? 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 You guys can see I have a gnome there. And this is actually not from Amy or from, um, Cammy, if you can believe that's from a friend in Florida. Okay, so let us jump right in then. Um, if you don't have any questions, but don't hesitate to reach out. You'll you'll look at Cammy's site. Check it out. Super cute. Know me knows, right? Know me knows. Super, super cute. So taking a deep breath. Oh, I know. Let me show you guys really quick. My most recent page. Super excited, you guys, because this is only, it might be sold out though, sadly. Um, not, not Cammy's mugs, um, the sensi thing, right? Um, so you guys know this is 368 pages, blank pages. Cammy, look at this. I'm already going to be in trouble. This is not even 15 days. It's the gnome life for me. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So you guys, I already used up my extra three pages and I'm going to run out. And so I came up, well, not came up like I created this idea. Um, but the Lord prompted me to remember that I could put two up on a page. Now, typically I would do like Saturday here and Sunday here to make it just a wee bit clearer, but I didn't plan ahead. So I did Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. I need a, I know I need a ring binder. Well, I have other stuff in ring binders. This was gifted to me. So I was, I'm going to make it work. And, and I mean, at some point it might be like this, we might not be able to close and that's, you know, that's the crafter's life, right? Anyway, so super grateful for that. And watch my um, Instagram stories for almost nightly updates. Super chunky chunk. And I know it's not even close to what most do, but I'm I'm preserving my book, y'all. I mean, I have, we still have 12, 11, months left, 11 and a half months left. All right. So anybody else, I'm going to take a quick sip. And then, you know what? One thing I'm noticing, I do not have a clock on here to tell me how long I've been on here. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to have to figure, I'm going to have to do it the good old fashioned way. I probably, you know what I may start doing? I may start setting an alarm so that I know. Ooh, so I've got 20, less than 20 minutes. Okay. So let's jump right in. I'm very excited about today's podcast. And typically I am really excited on Mondays because I feel like the Lord really gives me amazing downloads. Not that um, I, not that I don't love the messages on any other day because God is just good. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Can you see that somewhere on your screen, Angela, or you just know that because y'all, Angela and her sweet husband, Cammie, did you see my update? They evicted in the most kindest way, five frogs out of that area that you rescued that one. They, they were living their best life better than any gnome could ever imagine. Um, five of them. Uh, yeah, five. Cami, can you hear me? <laughs> five. They evacuated, 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 evicted kindly. Um, oh, only when I open the live feed. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So anyways, so five frogs <laughs> got gently placed someplace else and now there's duct tape over that area. So no more frogs. 
jumping on the bed or getting stuck. Okay, so Cam, you're gonna have to find a different way to, to help me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. So what's on my heart today is how to make an impact. And you know, you guys know one of the things I love to do is do a countdown, right? So today, as of today, we have 47. Where is our good friend who always does this for me, right? 47 more opportunities in 2021 to make a positive impact on the world. What are you going to do today? Are you going to create fun products so people have fun stuff to sip out of, right? Imagine something that doesn't say be curious. Hey, Melanie, so good to see you, right? Are you going to watch your grandchild? Yeah, no more froggies jumping through the hole. Yay. <laughs> right um yeah they got booted 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 amen amen but very kindly very kindly she did a angela did a very nice job so that was my whole point that and angela and abraham came by we talked all things essential oils they gave me some tips they brought me a gift um and then also they adios the frogs okay 47 more opportunities to make a positive impact on the world but i think what I hope from this message, this is the bottom line. I hope this message encourages you and reminds you, right, that you were created to make an impact. And just by being created, you are making an impact. You just have to choose. Is it good? Is it not so good? And are you doing it intentionally, right? Because we are called to make an impact. That's what it, go and tell right? Go and lay hands, right? That is action, right? That is a way to make an impact. So how to make an impact. So today's broadcast and topic is inspired by our church. So yesterday, along with probably a ton of your churches, we honored veterans, right? So Thursday, November 11th, and we have several vet veterans on here and we're missing one of our favorite veterans, Yvonne, but we have Angela here as well, who is a veteran. Marguerite, of course, who is a veteran. I'm trying to think of who else served. Now, of course, lots of spouses on here um, who are married to veterans um, and have also you know, served in that capacity. But anyway, so Veterans Day is to honor those who have served, right? So we have several different holidays throughout the year. One is for those who made the ultimate sacrifice and we honor them and memorialize them and one for those who are active duty right now currently serving and then also those who have served right so and i think i'm missing one there's also i thought there was four of them it could be that it was produced by <laughs> a marine so they include the marine corps birthday because the marine corps birthday is the day before and we're kind of kind of partial to the marine corps birthday but anyways so veterans day rich's dad served oh i keep forgetting that he's a marine i know prayers for my ex though he's a veteran who's living in his car sarah well i i don't know so sarah and i go to the same church so sarah i don't know if you heard jonathan's message yesterday but i'm going to share it just a little tidbit of it he shared it way better um because this will resonate with you and give you hope okay so our church um honored veterans Thank you, Allison. And specifically, our pastor asked, and this this was not planned, um, asked Jonathan, a friend of Bill and I's, one who served um, as well and is now at our church serving and, and doing all the things. He's a photographer. And so he called him up and asked him if he would share just a really quick testimony. He was very funny because he's like, hey, Jonathan, very quick testimony because I still have to preach. So at this point, he has not preached yet. We've worshiped, we've given thanks. And then now, of course, um, we've got this veteran up on stage. And I just so happened to be in the front row. So I typically sit in the second row. That's where Bill and I sat. And that's where Bill was, that's as far as Bill would go. He didn't want to sit in the front row. Um, I actually got to sit in, you know, I, when I sit in the front row, I sit in the chairs that I sat in um, on on Bill's celebration of life day um, and Billy who is now up in heaven with Bill um, sat next to me and so sitting in the front row or the second row brings back lots of um, sweet sweet memories not that it was sweet that I'm a widow but sweet for being able to honor Bill but anyway so I'm sitting in the front row I typically am in the second row but there was a sweet couple behind me and um, I did not know any of this was going to go on so Jonathan got up there and shared here's here's what he shared um, so this is where I really want you to lean in, Sarah. This is one of those lean in moments. So Jonathan shared that he was a homeless vet 
just a few years ago, living in his car and working at Home Depot. We have a mutual friend by the name of Michael James who felt prompted to approach Jonathan in the parking lot and pray for him right there at Home Depot. And, and that doesn't surprise me. Michael James is really good. He has spent a lot of years listening to the Lord, leaning in, pressing in. And so he went up to Jonathan. Jonathan received those prayers. I don't know all the details, but fast forward, Jonathan ended up at our church where he met us to include Bill, right? And where he and Bill started becoming friends. And he thanked Bill um, for mentoring him, which I knew he thought highly of him, but I did not realize that Bill was integral in helping Jonathan get help. Um, cause Bill had been through the VA system and, and kind of, you know, knew where to go at least didn't know all the details maybe, but knew where to go. And so it was super, super sweet as I'm sitting in the front row next to a dear friend and Jonathan is standing there giving thanks for the impact that Bill made on his life. And it just really got me thinking about impact, right? We talk about it several times a week on our broadcast, even if we just kind of like roll through it by saying, you have 47 more opportunities to make a positive impact on the world this year, right? Um, but when you see it and hear it and then kind of connect the dots, right? Um, that's when it really becomes powerful. And so here's like just kind of like a side note fact that our pastor has shared in the past. And then I'm going to come back and share with you guys how to make an impact. So it's all going to swing back around. So hang in there. So just know this, that it takes up to 25. If someone could put that in all the chat boxes, it takes up to 25 touches for someone to come to know Jesus. This means encounters at some level level, right? So they call it touches. This doesn't mean you literally have to touch them. Doesn't mean it has to be eyeball to eyeball, though that is great, right? But it takes 25 encounters of some way, shape, or form. That's why they call it touches. Um, before someone up to 25, up to, it doesn't have to be, but up to 25 before someone comes to know Jesus. And we never know which touch we are. Are we the first, the 15th, or the 25th? It doesn't matter because God knows we are just called. I know, right? Cami, we are just called to do the thing, right? When you are prompted to send a text, that is considered a touch, right? So you've got non-believer family and friends, right? And they, God puts you, puts them on your heart. You don't have to say, Hey dude, or Hey sister. Um, I know, right? Sis. Um, you don't have to say, hey, you need to come to know Jesus or you're going to hell. I mean, let's just let's just be real. I don't know how many people have come to know Jesus because of that. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't work, right? But I, I don't believe that's supposed to be our average approach. Anyways, that being said, a touch can be, yeah, we never know which one we're going to be. A touch can be a text message. If you were prompted by the Lord, if someone is on your mind, whether they're a believer or not, but if someone is on their mind, um, oh, you need to touch base with him. Yeah, you guys, it's not, this is a God divine appointment as well. This broadcast and Sarah being on it because you guys, Sarah used to know Jesus and then became agnostic and left the church for a very long time. I think Sarah, you said 20 years. She went to church one Sunday morning, our church one Sunday morning. I was out of town. I was on a cruise. I think I can't remember which crafty cruise it was. I was not there. And Bill and I at that point were co-leading a Bible study, co-leading a Bible study. And Bill, of course, still showed up. And Sarah says that she felt welcomed because of Bill's witty sarcasm. Bill, when I got home, told me that Sarah, hey, we got a new person. Her name is Sarah. Reach out to her. And I'm like, Lord, have mercy. Oh, of course, someone came the one night I was not there. <laughs> and you guys, God, if God will speak through a donkey, he will speak through a very rough around the edges Marine, and he will speak right to the agnostic. And she's been back at our church, got baptized. We got to be there. Sarah and I did not plan this today. I didn't know if she'd be able to even get on here. That is amazing. 
And of course, it is so sweet for me. But the point isn't just that it was Bill. The, the point is, is that Bill did what he was called to do. And I'm going to unpack that and share that with you. But we just have to remember, when you are prompted, whether it's super bold and you're actually sharing the gospel, the truth, right? Um, oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sarah's saying there must be a joke in there somewhere mentioning Bill and Donkey in the same sentence, right? It's just an example. He also used a fiery bush, but I don't think the fiery bush spoke. He's probably spoke through it. But anyways, <clears throat> anyways, the, the bottom line is, is we never know where we are in the lineup, right? So just go out and do the thing that God has called you to do. And I say do the thing because it's different for all of us, right? Diane is a realtor. Am I saying it right? I always feel like I jack that up, right? She is impacting the world that way, right? Helping people find homes. Y'all who have ever purchased a home or sold a home, you know, this is no joke. They basically hold your hand through the whole thing if you'll let them, right? And, and Diane knows Jesus. And so she is yielding to the spirit in all those ways to include her work, right? God does not like go, okay, so Diane's going to sell a, sell a house. That's all on her. But if she walks into the doors of a church, I'll show up. No, no, he is everywhere, right? He is everywhere anyways, but I'm going to, I need to keep moving along here. I've got what 14 minutes, not 14 minutes, seven minutes. Okay. So here we go. So how to make an impact. And you guys, please know this is going to sound very simple and it is, but we have to do the thing, right? Whatever that thing is, right? So here I'm going to tell you the things and then I'm going to come back and unpack them, close us in prayer and hopefully be done at the 15 minute past mark. So how to make an impact. You seek God first. You yield in obedience. You know your collective and individual purpose, right? You know your collective purpose, then you know your purpose and you stay in your lane, you stay in your lane and you show up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five things. Let me unpack them really quickly. Largest purchase most will ever make. Yeah, right? The home, All right? The home. Okay, so seek God first. So the bottom line is you can't be yielding to the Lord and hearing from Holy Spirit if you don't know Jesus, right? And so let's back up to the story. Michael James knows Jesus and is yielding to the Spirit in a parking lot at Home Depot. Bill knew Jesus. We showed up at the local church. So you guys, I, I know I've said this a million times, and for some of you, it's just going to rub you the wrong way like it did the first, you know, 900 and 99 whatever thousand times i've said it you need to be part of a local body you have to be part of a local body is it messy yes is it inconvenient yes is it easier to sit on the couch in our pajamas and watch a service yes 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 it is and you take risks and people are messy and 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 if you're an introvert, it's overwhelming, right? Well, even as an extrovert, as an extroverted widow, it's overwhelming, but we show up anyways. Um, I know, right, Sarah? But we show up anyways. So both of these men knew Jesus. That's where it started, right? And then we yield in obedience. So Michael James yielded in that parking lot and offered prayer. All, all, all his job was to yield and offer what it was that Holy Spirit was telling him, right? Jonathan had the choice. He could have said, no way, dude, and walked away or whatever in whatever variation and language he wants to say, right? Hey, Jeannie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> So fun to see you guys. Hawaii, Oahu is in the house. Yes, so we seek God first, right? And then part of our privileges, part of our benefits package is we get Holy Spirit, right? And we get the Lord who is going to speak through Holy Spirit, who speaks through his word, right? Who gave us Jesus, who who ministers to us, right? Who um, intercedes on our behalf along with Holy Spirit right? It is a part of our benefits package. We get to, we get to um, do this thing. So Mike yielded to Holy Spirit in the parking lot that day. Bill and I yielded even after chemo. You guys, you know that Bill was showing up Wednesday mornings at a 7 a.m. men's breakfast Bible study up until he no longer could. So he did that for, so we were here for almost six years before he died. 
And so he probably stopped maybe two years. So he, he went consistently for three and a half to four years. We went to church. Now it's not about checking a box. We didn't just go to church. We didn't just show up. However, sometimes I have just shown up in all my mess with all my tears and still managed to make an impact without trying because we don't have to try. It's not about trying. It's about yielding and showing up, right? And so then know your collective purpose, right? So you guys have heard me talk about this as the body of believers, as the big C church, right? The big C church, the worldwide church, those of us who yield to Jesus as Lord and Savior, wherever we are, as a collective big C church, we are called go and tell. We are called love thy neighbor. We are called pray without ceasing, meditate on the word day and night, be a peacemaker, right? There are so many call to actions, right? Call to action, CTA, calls to action in the Bible. We get to act, we get to move, right? This isn't passive all the time. It's actually technically never passive, but I know sometimes just sitting and waiting and doing the ministry of couching sometimes can feel like it's passive. None of it is passive because God is doing the work in and through us, but know your collective purpose and then know your specific purpose, right? So Jeannie's over there in Hawaii, right? One of her specific purposes is as a principal at a private school, right? That, I, that is not my gig. That is now we still are called to do the collective purpose with whatever title the Lord gives us as far, you know, in the world, right? Of course, we have other titles like redeemed, forgiven, child of God, daughter of the king, right? We've got lots of titles. Um, but anyway, so know your individual purpose and then stay in your lane. That is the cool thing about Michael James and Bill. I'd like to say I really try step out of my lane every once in a while, but I'm working on it and then do a way better job, but do what God called you to do. Do that thing. You guys do that thing that you are called to do, do it well. Right. And here's the interesting thing. God will still use you. If you don't know what that purpose is, y'all bill went to heaven, believing he did not know his purpose. And I told him for many years, I had told him for at least, so almost six here, seven, eight, almost nine years that I knew what his purpose was. His purpose was to, for one to live. You guys know if Bill had died on that operating table six, nine years ago, I would have been made a widow on Oahu, right? So family couldn't just get in a car and drive to me. And after losing both my mom and my stepdad just um, six months before, Y'all, that was one of his purposes, right? And and God used him to get me here, right? And used him to refine me and used him to make an impact on Jonathan, used him to make an impact on Sarah. Look at the difference. Now, could God have used somebody else? Absolutely. But God called Bill to do that thing. God called Bill to be the best spouse. Now, I'm not, I don't know how it works. I don't know if God's up there going, okay. Bill and Larissa should get married. We are given free will. So if we're given free will to sin and do whatever we darn well please, we're also given free will to make choices like where we work and who we marry. And there's just very few parameters. And one of those is do not, that recommended from the Bible, not my words, do not be unequally yoked. Well, guess who was unequally yoked? I married a non-believer and God was still good to both of us. And Bill came to know Jesus. And then Bill loved others the way only Bill can. And Bill wouldn't call it loving on others, right? Yeah. And God gave Bill and Chad, Allison's husband, the sweetest friendship, right? And we, and, and there's, and, and I'm just using my husband as an example. We all are making an impact. Is it a happy, positive impact or is it a negative impact? We all get to do it. We are making an impact on our animals, on our kids on all the things, right? All the things. And again, so sorry, you guys, I'm getting lots of messages that people are struggling um, to get into HAPS. Please send messages to the HAPS people so they knew, they know. Yay. Okay. So negative to the flu, 
Amen. So we're praying you through stuff. The next test, the next test is not for the flu. <laughs> okay. So I know your purpose and then stay in your lane. Do what God called you to do. Bill felt like he didn't know his purpose, but he was fulfilling it all along. I just say, know it, right? Find someone, a life coach, a therapist, right? A good friend, a leader in your church. Take one of those tests and then start doing things, right? Yeah, there are only there are certain people only we can reach, right? We have been given this privilege, this this sphere of influence. There are some people that I talk to that none of you will ever meet. You'll never be able to impact only me. So what if I'm not doing what I'm called to do? Right? And 5 and all the rest. <laughs> yeah, love 2 Corinthians 4. Amen, amen. Amen. And sometimes um, it just feels so natural. Like Bill was doing it so naturally. He really didn't realize he was doing it right. And, and that's, that was one of, I guess we could call that one of his struggles. I know my purpose. I know it. It is to encourage others. That's it at the core. Now, all of us should be doing that, but this is where I shine. Thank you so much, Steph. Right now, how I do it is different than other people who encourage, right? I'm called to be a live broadcaster. There are some people who are like, no bueno. Right in the beginning, Paula would have been like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Now she is one. It's just most of the time in a private group for crafters, but she is one, right? So sometimes we are called to do it and we take a little longer to do that. You know, maybe I made an impact there. Um, oh, remember Wood at Walmart? Yes, Sarah, I do remember that. That's a great story too, right? So sometimes it feels so natural. Like that's when people ask me, like, how did you build community? How did you do this? How did you do that? And there's so little I can really tell them because it was seemed so natural. The Lord had been calling me for years to share what was on my heart. And I always thought that would just be as a, a leader or a co-leader of a Bible study, which I still do that, right? Yay, Chad made it. <laughs> praise God, praise God. We love it. We love it, sweet sister. Um, but I, I just, I know what my purpose is now. Will it change? You know, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to broadcast on half. So I would have gone over Chad. So good to see you. Welcome brother. And thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. And so just so grateful that you are here. Um, and for your support of Allison and all the fun stuff that she does as well. So let me wrap up with this. Um, Knowing your purpose, it may just come so naturally when people ask me about building a community. I am an extrovert. I love to be around people and I have been hurt a hundred times, right? And I'm going through a couple things that most people don't even know right now that really have nothing to do with um, being a widow. Being a widow makes it harder, right? But they're there are things that we are all going through that we don't know others are going through, right? This is why we love one another. This is why we pray without ceasing. This is why we meditate on the word day and night so God can re, um, reform our mind, conform our mind to him and not to the world, right? Renew our minds, right? So then we are reminded, how many times can I say this, right? So then we are reminded that we have the mind of Christ, right? But I know what it's like to be unfriended. And yet I still want to be around people and want to do the friendship thing. This is how you build community. You show up, right? And so ultimately that's what Michael James did. That's what Bill did. They just showed up on the golf course, right? Cause you never know. Cause it's not just about going around, like throwing a Bible at everybody and saving everybody, even though God does not want not one to perish, right? Not one. And the workers are few, right? The, the harvest is ready. The harvest is plenty, but the workers are few, but sometimes it's to encourage one another, right? That's what we do. That is what we are called to do. So that is how you make an impact. You seek God first because you know him. You yield in obedience when Holy Spirit prompts you, you yield, you know, the collective purpose of the body of believers, go and tell, love thy neighbor, pray without ceasing. Then you know your purpose and you stay in your lane. And by knowing all that, then you show up and you do the thing. But also sometimes we are just called to just show up. All right. So my person is here. So I'm going to do the quickest prayer ever. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for this message. We thank you for everybody who was able to show up and um, join us. Father, we pray that you would work out all of the craziness that is the internet. 
And we thank you for this opportunity to come together collectively. We pray healed and whole over everybody within the sound of my voice. We pray negative tests where they need to be negative. And Father, we thank you and praise you that we get to do this thing, that we get to serve, that we get to make a positive impact on the world because of you in and through us. Father, Lord, we love you. We praise you. And we say these things in the mighty natural name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God is good. Thanks for joining us Wednesday night. Come back Wednesday night, 6.50 p.m. Central Standard Time when Tasha and I talk all things gratitude. And don't forget to reach out. Let us know how you're doing on Project Grateful. We